Hi, this is Dr. Matthew Hanasono from MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. I'd like to talk to you about a PRS article entitled Scalp Reconstruction After Mohs Cancer Excision Lessons Learned from Over 900 Consecutive Cases. The article summarizes the experience of Dr. Jim Thornton, who performed 913 scalp reconstructions over a 10 year period. Most defects were for basal or squamous cell carcinoma and occurred on the forehead or the top of the scalp. Few patients in this series received preoperative or postoperative radiation. The average defect size was modest, about 13.6 cm squared. The senior author rarely or never used pericranial flaps, tissue expanders, or free flaps in this series. The use of Integra bilayer matrix wound dressing and skin grafts, radiation, and large defect size were more likely to be associated with complication, while tobacco use, advanced age, and blood thinners were not. It is often challenging to make a hypothesis-driven study from a large and heterogeneous clinical experience such as this one, especially when the main outcomes, aside from complications, would be aesthetic appearance, which is a subjective outcome. Along these lines, the paper doesn't offer a lot of analysis from which to draw data-driven conclusions, but it is still important because few surgeons will ever amass the vast clinical experience that Dr. Thornton has so I believe it is important that he shares his experience with the rest of us. It is the substantial experience that lends credibility to the treatment algorithm that the authors present in the paper. One of the most important recommendations is for the use of Integra followed by color match split thickness skin grafting from the posterior scalp. In fact, the authors include their technique for split thickness skin graft harvest from the scalp, which I found very useful. The authors cite the lack of morbidity superior aesthetic result, and the ability to perform the procedure as an outpatient, even under local anesthesia, as a reason for this becoming one of the preferred methods for scalp reconstruction when the periosteum of the scalp is not present, replacing most other techniques in recent years. I hope you'll enjoy this article. Thank you very much.